All right, what's up guys? This is Eric Varis Engineering. We are doing a video on the three different wings for the Supra. This is a video that we've wanted to do for a while because honestly, we get a lot of questions about it and I understand why. We have three wings. They perform differently on the Supra and you guys wanna know what's actually happening, why it's happening, why there's a gigantic price difference between the V1X and the UCWs. Um, so we're gonna basically gonna, gonna walk through that with you guys, the positives, how to use them on your car, all that type of stuff. We're gonna do that today, right now, with honestly all three wings in the video. All right, so let's hit the elephant in the room. Why is the V1X $5,000 and why are the UCWs and the twos? The, the ultimate answer is the wing blade itself is completely different. It's manufactured differently. It's made by an indie car shop locally. It's clear coated locally. This thing is labor intensive. It just takes a lot of work to make. Now, the big difference is the size. It's 300 millimeters in cord, which is four to aft. So it's 300 millimeters instead of 250 like the UCW. And then it's 1650 wide instead of 1600. So you're gonna see an improved performance based off of just size. The airfoil itself is slightly different. This wing blade is actually derived from the V1X as far as the shape is concerned. But we developed the V1X to make lots and lots of downforce. And then the UCW was kind of developed more for that streetcar guy because honestly, this rear wing outpowers most front splitters. So right now the Swan Neck UCW is on the car. Something that's cool with our wings is that it uses the same trunk mount and support plate for all three wings. We found out that the trunk and the support plate is more than strong enough to handle the forces that the V1X sees. And you can see me jumping on the wing here. All right, so now let's talk about performance. So at the end of the day, you can run the UCWs or the V1X, but what your driver preference as far as balance goes, so rear and front bias aerodynamically, is gonna dictate which wing you want. There's, there's just so much, there's, there's this vast variety of like knowledge that's like up here and on the computers, but I'm gonna do my best to kind of like hit it pretty quickly. So if you wanna run the standard front splitter or the high downforce front splitter, and you like a car that's fairly front biased, the bottom mount UCW is actually gonna perform better for you than the Swan Neck UCW. The Swan Neck UCW is actually more efficient, so the wing actually produces more downforce and less drag because of that Swan Neck style mounting. However, because of the wing placement, the UCW Swan Neck is actually further forward than the bottom mount UCW. And because of that, it actually shifts aero balance further forward. So if I were to pick a rear wing to run with the standard front splitter, not the high downforce one, I would probably pick that Swan Neck UCW because it's actually gonna be a little bit more efficient. It's gonna also balance and allow you to run more downforce better, or more downforce at a better balance than say the uh, bottom mount UCW. Now, if you want to run the high downforce front splitter and you want a really cost effective rear wing, I would recommend the bottom mount UCW, but you better be ready to have a front biased car or a car that has quite a bit of front end grip. If you feel like you're a little bit less confident and you need that rear downforce, that rear stability, I would ultimately recommend the V1X because that's why we developed the V1X. Uh, we had multiple people in the community running the bottom mount UCW and they were complaining that the car was too oversteery or basically the, the rear didn't have enough grip at high speeds. So they asked us to come out with a wing that made more downforce and that's when the V1X came out. So we came out with the V1X and then everyone was like, wow, that's a really expensive swan neck rear wing. Can you make one that is a little bit more cost effective? That's when the UCW swan neck came out because the wing is substantially less expensive to produce. So the UCW, Swan neck wing is now a thing. And that ultimately, when we were developing the V1X, going back to the V1X now, when we were developing the V1X, we found out that if we put the V1X in the same location as the bottom mount UCW, the car was too rear biased. So we ended up inching that forward until we came up with a good aero balance with the V1X. And then that ultimately just kind of dictates where the UCW resides because we wanted to use the same uprights. And that's a benefit to both of us because it saves us on cost, it saves you guys on cost. The uprights for the UCW and the V1X are the exact same uprights and we're able to make less parts, which keeps our costs down, which makes 
the products a little bit less expensive for you guys. Hopefully that clears up a lot of your questions about the three wings for the Supra. We may be doing this in the future for other vehicles, but for right now we have obviously three offerings for the Supra and they, they honestly cover probably every aero package front-wise that you'd ever want. If you have other questions, feel free to email us, sales at veris-engineering.com. If you have any other comments, concerns, questions, all that stuff, you can also tag us in social media, uh, comments below, we'll try and answer them, but it's kind of hard because our engineers are designing stuff and not always just sitting on social media. Until next time, I'm out.